dumbass tired ass bitch. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Keon Elijah, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking on something that you guys asked me about. So I thought I would make a video about. This is my high school choir experience. Yes, choir. Yes, I used to sing. I somewhat, I somewhat still like singing. I just don't do it as often anymore. It's kind of just a fun thing I do here and there now. I was asked about my high school choir experience. Now, before I get into this video, because there's always somebody who thinks I'm talking about them. Well, I am. And I, I don't care if you don't like it. It's just, it is what it is, sis. It is what it is, sis. <laughs> it's about to get shady and about to spill some tea. If you don't like it, well, that's a personal thing. Basically, my high school choir experience was not all that bad. But it was not all that good. And it kind of made me kind of fall out of love with music and I had to kind of find my way into liking music again. When I started doing music, it was actually by accident. In fifth grade, we had this paper that we had to sign on if we were gonna do band, orchestra, or choir. And if you did not turn in the paper, you were automatically submitted into choir. <laughs> my bald headed ass did not turn in the paper I did not know if I was gonna like choir. I didn't really take it serious until in sixth grade when I went out for all county choir and I actually made it. And then I was like, oh, I'm kind of good at this. Let's do more of this. Let's have a little bit more fun with it and you know, see where this could go. Going down the line, I started making all county, tri-county. Tri-county choir is when there's three different um, counties coming together and the best from those counties get to sing together. There were so many great experiences that I got to experience being in choir. I made all state, which is I was chosen out of a lot of kids from the state, which I think that's the biggest thing I ever did as far as going out for something and making it. Yeah. And then when high school came, I started doing the high school version of all county choir and tri county choir. Um, I did not make states when I was in choir in high school. It is what it is, mainly because I didn't go out for a lot of choir opportunities in high school, which I will get to the reason why. I do appreciate the experience that I got to have. It was just the background stuff that I had to deal with that made me kind of fall out of love with music. I've teased a couple songs on my Instagram. I have four songs that are actually recorded and I don't know if they're gonna ever be released. It's just, I'm not sure. Mainly because I'm scared and sometimes hearing my own voice is weird. And not in like a bad way, but it can, it's weird. Get it? But that's not the point. Okay, okay, okay. I love my voice, period, point blank. I can I can still hit a soprano whistle note if I want to. <laughs> in high school, ninth grade was fine. I actually started out in one school and I auditioned because we were getting rezoned because a new school was opening. So I got rezoned to another school in my 10th grade year. My 10th grade year, I was going into a new high school. I was dealing with a new choir program and I was dealing with different types of people. Being in choir was not the issue for me or going to a new school was not the issue for me. It was kind of the experience with the other people that I just did not like. I guess probably say that about Drama Club too. I can probably mix those two together. You know what? Let's mix those two together. Yeah, they go hand in hand. But yeah. Mm. So when I was in choir, there were always people who were the main ones who would say that they want the group to feel as one and that everybody should feel comfortable, but will be the same ones to talk the most mess about people. And then when you go and ask them about it, oh my God, what are you talking about? Oh my God, what are you talking about? It's like a lot of people in choir would throw stones and then hide their hands. Like there was this girl, well, there's a couple girls, this girl named... Oh, <laughs> do I want to say their names? You know what? There was a, a, a couple girls. I'll just say the first letter of their names. 
But so there was a girl's name that started with an N, a girl's name that started with an S, and a girl's name that started with the A. Those were the, the main people I did not really vibe with because they were just so two-faced. No. Before them bitches feel like they <laughs> made me leave choir. <laughs> girl, no. That's why I stayed there and got on your fucking nerves. And the one girl whose name starts with an N, you didn't have to invite me to your party. If you didn't want me there, you shouldn't have invited me there. You invited me, I came, and you most definitely acted so happy that you wanted me to be there. But you went behind my back and was saying that you didn't even mean to actually invite me. Well, bitch, you shouldn't have sent the invite then. Truth be told. <laughs> but that's nor here nor there. That's why your song flopped. But that's not... There were always so many cliques in choir and I never was able to fit in them because there was always somebody who was talking bad on me. And I addressed a couple people with it and behind everybody, they would act one way and in front of people, they would act another way. There were some people who would smile in my face but would be bystanders when other people are talking mad crap about me or when people have so much to say on me. So I never felt a true connection with many people in there because I couldn't trust that people there were actually there to be friendly or if they were trying to be funny or if they were trying to play on my time. I never truly knew. So I stayed with what I knew and I stayed with the people that I, that I was close with. And even the people that I was close with, they tried to get them people to turn against me by trying to lie and it didn't fucking work. Which is why we're still friends today. And you know, that's... Girl, you know who you are. And with so many people who follow me now, ask me for shout outs now, who I was associated with, and they were the main ones who made me feel like I shouldn't have been there. When I earned my spot to be in there. There were so many things bad said on me. And it, it kind of made you just dislike being in the classroom or being a part of the music group because it was just so much negativity always surrounding it also that was in drama club you know i'm not gonna go too much into drama club because that's another video that's a separate thing because that's a lot more but you know when i feel like i was very misunderstood in high school i was not a mean person um Maybe I came across a little strong and it's just, I'm, I'm very much a person who who acts off of how you vibe with me. If you treat me one way in private and you treat me another way in person, I'm going to feel a type of way and I'm going to respond a certain type of way. And if you don't like it, then you shouldn't have done what you did. Like I said, I'm never going to claim to be a perfect person or that I just don't do nothing. Because maybe I had did something and I didn't even realize it. But I hated the fact there were so many people who would be cool with me in private. But would be in cliques talking about me. And then when I would walk into the room, they would look at me, start being quiet, be awkward. Just like, I, I made them bitches mad. I walked around on purpose just smiling pretending not to care just being that bitch because i'm not gonna let you see me sweat i'm never gonna let a bitch see me sweat it just wasn't gonna happen that way being a part of choir was not the issue it was more of the people in choir that kind of made you sit back and be like wow these people are fake these people are so fake to the point where they make you feel like you don't even want to like music anymore because of the fact that they just were always putting you down it was almost as if you weren't a part of a certain clique then you weren't going to be accepted or liked it was just i feel like this is going so 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 wrong mm. see when y'all asked me to make this video i was not sure if i was going to do it or not because of the mere fact that it was in high school and i graduated in 2017 so that was three years ago but since it was three years ago i guess it's not a big deal to talk about it now after high school i stopped singing for the longest time because i just 
didn't like my high school experience. Like I couldn't even be happy when my senior year came and I was going up for the award for being the fourth person in line to have the most points out of all the seniors and it seems like I was only cheering myself on and I would cheer everybody on but it wasn't the other way around. So many people were fake and you know what I would be a shady bitch and put them out there but I just don't want to do that. A lot of those girls would not be able to sit with me anymore and if I had known back then I wouldn't have been like oh we're cool we're cool and then they were just Talking shit, no. But when I joined show choir, at first I was quiet. And what got me to open up more was the fact that my teacher, I love her so much. I hope she's doing well. I haven't spoken to her in a while. Miss Matthew slash O'Brien, one day in class, was so tired of me being so quiet that she basically put me on the spot and was like you're either gonna sing out or i'm gonna kick you out this class because she knew i could do a lot more and because of the way that i was feeling and how uncomfortable i was to be in a room with people who didn't really like me that much and never gave me a true chance that i wasn't allow i wasn't gonna allow myself to stick out after she said after she said after she said that, I kind of shifted into gear and just went for it. It opened me up a little bit to the point where I was like one of the loudest voices in the group of show choir. And I went from being so quiet to being so loud. And it became to the point where like she ended up saying like I was being too loud. Like I had to pull back. Like that was crazy to me. Like, we'd be doing group work, and I'll be working with the guys, and it'll be certain things that would go back and be said to make me look like I was just this rude-ass person, like I was just mean, or people made it seem like I was just a, a fucked-up person, and I just didn't like it. And there are some people that I would want to reconcile with and be like, hey, I never had a problem with you, like, like, I would be cool with them. But because of the circumstances, I felt like that wasn't a possibility at the time. I remember getting blocked by people that I never even had an issue with. Like, there was this white bitch. You know what? There was this Caucasian female whom I was cool with. I didn't think that we had an issue but because she was trying so hard to co-sign, she moved away from me and started joining the clique and was trying to be accepted by them so badly to the point that she just blocked me, blocked my number, wouldn't speak to me, and in person would be so short with me when I was not sure what was going on. It got, it just, it hurt my feelings because a lot of times I didn't think I would notice, but like, even when I'll be in like my acting class, I'll be practicing for the showcase and I remember I was in like this private room like I had a door but you could hear on the other side if you were singing too loud and I was practicing my song and I was singing too loud and I stopped for a second and I heard them saying like all this mean stuff about me and then as soon as I walked out there quiet nothing like it was silent showed a lot in me acting like I couldn't be fully interested because people I was working with I just couldn't respect them like of course I did the show and of course I gave it my all and I did what I had to do because that's life you're gonna work with people sometimes that you just don't like or that I don't even not like them they don't like they didn't like me or they're trying so hard to be accepted by each other that they chose me as a target i have people that i'm cool with that i could get to vouch for this and i said what i said i remember when the showcase actually came and i performed my song and i remember going backstage and that caucasian female 
said something slick out of her mouth and was like, oh, it wasn't actually bad. And you see, maybe that would be a compliment to some of y'all. But she said it in a way that would be like, I was, I was so expected for it to be bad. What? Like you couldn't just say, hey, that was really good. Oh, it actually wasn't bad. And that was the girl that I thought I was cool with. I just let it go and I just did me. And whoever didn't like it and inquire or didn't like me, it was a personal problem at that point. If you won't tell me what the issue is, after a certain point, I'm not going to care about it. I don't know if you know that's how the world works, but if I've addressed you and I've asked you if there's a problem and you tell me no, but you're in text messages talking shit, like, I still have those messages somewhere. For some reason, I never deleted them. They're probably my Google photo. Like, there's so much that I would want to say and talk my shit, but... Some things are better left unsaid. Everything I've addressed so far or said in this video is true. I don't have to lie. This is my experience. And if people don't agree with it, it wasn't their experience, you know? My girl Liz, I love her so much. But there are people who try to come between me and her friendship. Point where we didn't talk for a little while. And we eventually came back together because... I love her so much and I didn't like that certain things were being said or certain people were trying to stir up things so much and trying to get to me so bad that they try to go after my friendships. Some people fell off and didn't like me anymore and believe whatever they wanted to believe. Some people never gave me a chance and it is what it is. I still graduated as the show choir king a lot of people try to take that away from me because of the fact that I was the only senior guy, which I still worked my ass off for it. I give respect where it's given. And if you're clearly telling, like showing me like you don't mess with me, you don't rock with me, I take that and I do what I have to. I move away. Mm, is there anything I need to address here? I started getting into doing my hair and makeup in choir i started doing it little by little it was never to the degree of what it is now um it's like after high school i just got out of that thought of trying to please everybody else well in high school i didn't even try to please everybody else i just wanted the bitches to hate me so i just did what i fuck i wanted it's nothing like it's no better fuel than when a bitch don't like you because it makes you just want to go a hundred times harder to make them know hey i'm still that bitch and you gonna see me it's, it's, you, it's, you're gonna see me whether you like it or not you're gonna see me so get with the program or deal with that on your personal time I don't have ill will towards anybody of course there's some people I don't really favor that much and I don't need to like everybody everybody doesn't need to like me it was just so shady I might do a video on drama club too and honestly I might name drop in that one because cause they got me this bent. This bent. This fucking bent, ho. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Honestly, I did this just because it was just another subject I can talk on and I could share my experience, but also make it entertaining but also be shady, but also spill tea, but also pop my shit, but also not start no shit, but also want to state what the shit was, but also tell my truth, but also not try to put nobody else down, but also making sure bitches knew. What the fuck? You know what? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bro, bitches so crusty. Disgust me.